but I will dismiss you straight to your face. Nah, I ain't got no manners, nope. and these boys ain't got no standards. That's why he can't stand you. Always got your hand out for a handout. Can't stand what it do, EDS squad? It's your boy Eli coming to you with a review. This time we're going to be reviewing The Queen's Court. It's going to be a weekly review, one of my weekly series. So, come on in and check it out. Today we're going to be doing the review of Queen's Court, Docket 011518. So, today we're just I'm just going to go through everybody that was on the docket and give my opinions on what Kaya and T.S. Madison said. They were a classic key last night. I was rolling. Yo. They're, they're hilarious. They are definitely hilarious. So shout out to Kaya and T.S. Madison. So number one on the docket was Drake. And they charged him with failure to pull out. I guess it's the story on the porn star who claims that she is having Drake's child. Um, I think I read or I saw somewhere that he flew her out. And, um, when she gets birthed, they're supposed to be taking a paternity test to find out if it's Drake's child or not. And if it is, of course, Drake said he will be there for the child. And, um, Kaya, <laughs> one of them said, um, they're also charging him for not sending the unborn fetus to the chop shop. They are classics. If you don't know what the chop shop is. You guys need to watch Queen's Court because they will definitely explain it to you in more detail. I'm just going to leave that alone. Um, they also was talking about how Drake is messing with Nicole Murphy, um, the ex-wife of Eddie Murphy. And then they was talking about how Nicole likes older men, how they heard she was messing with Odell Beckham Jr., which is Lord have mercy. We ain't gonna go there today. We ain't gonna do it. But, um, that's basically what they covered on Drake. Um, the next case on the docket was, of course, H&M. Everybody knows what's going on with H&M. And they charged him with subliminal racism. They also threw in the mother of the child that was, um, photographed with the picture. I mean, excuse me, with the saying, um... I don't know, it has something to do with monkeys, I don't know what it says, verbatim, but, um, you know, there was a couple gags and a couple of kikis with that, um, they ended up sentencing H&M with vandalism, I don't know if you guys seen that, um, that video that's been going around that people in South Africa have been vandalizing the H&M stores. Which is not cool. I don't, don't, don't agree with that. Because I feel like if you guys are going to protest something, there's other ways of protesting. There's other constructive ways of protesting. Um, vandalizing and destroying stores doesn't solve the problem. It honestly, for me personally, it makes the narrative of what people think of us even more true in their eyes. So, I definitely, definitely don't agree with that. Um, the next case on the docket was Seal. And he was charged with slandering a black woman. Um, and treason against black people. And called, he was called the Uncle Tom. Um, I guess he put up a meme or some type of photo with Oprah in it, claiming that she, um, Oprah was going to be the next president. And social media went crazy on him. And he issued out a statement. Um, he also said something to Stacey Dash. I will get to that in a second, but let's get to the laughs and kikis of T.S. Madison and Kaya. Tell me how this... <laughs> these girls put on some African music. You see, you see T.S. Madison in the back shaking the maracas, 
And then you see Kaya calling up the Nigerian embassy. Yo, when they did that, I was screaming. Then to top it off, you see Kaya speaking Nigerian. Yo, she had me weak last night, yo. It was so, so freaking funny. Like, oh my goodness. But, um, Seal... Then they had, they played Seal's, um, statement regarding the whole situation. And, um, one thing that really stuck out to me in this whole statement was with Stacey Dash. She called her self-hating and that she lives in the sunken place. If you guys don't know what the sunken place is, check out the movie Get Out. I honestly just saw the movie. I know I'm bad for just seeing the movie. But it was a great, great, great movie. I definitely, definitely recommend it to you if you guys have not seen it. But if you did, you guys should know what the sunken place is. Next on the docket was Wendy Williams, a.k.a. Wendy, Wendell, Bartholomew, Orenthal, Rufus, <laughs> Theotis, Pookie Williams. Again, that is Wendell, Bartholomew, Orenthal, Rufus, Clyde, Theotis, Pookie, Williams. And she was on the docket because, I guess, um, her husband's mistress is apparently, allegedly, pregnant. And allegedly, he told her to go get a abortion. I ain't gonna go into that because that's a whole nother tea. All I have to say about that case in the docket, T.S. Madison was definitely true. Because Kaya had said, do Wendy know anything about this situation? And T.S. Madison definitely said, Wendy definitely knows. She knows everybody else's tea. She, her whole job is to get know everybody else's tea. So I'm pretty sure she knows her tea in full. So that was Wendy Williams. The next per people on the docket was the whole Kardashian clan. <sighs> There's just so much going on with that story. I could go on day in and day out, but I'm just probably not going to do that because it's self-explanatory with the whole Chloe and Tristan, the whole Kylie being pregnant. Then they started talking about Kanye and his outrageous prices with his clothes. And then they... That basically was it for the Kardashians. Um, the next per person on the docket was Kevin Gates. The people wanted to know... There was a video on Instagram. If you guys have not seen the video, it is on Instagram. On Kaya's page, Kaya Thug Misses. Um... Of Kevin Gates saying some... I don't even know what he was talking about. But Honey Child. He was giving me some teas of... Okay. Next case. So the next person out of the doctor was Evelyn Lozada. And they charged her for securing the bag and fucking many niggas. To secure that bag. Apparently she's now with French Montana. Thought she was married. I mean getting married to that baseball player. But then again. That's neither here nor there. Um, there was something else I wanted to say. Kaya said Evelyn got some good. Pump and dump pussy. Either pump and dump or leave. Before she steal all your fucking money. <laughs> Yo. When Kaya said that. I died. Because where is the lie? We've seen her with all different types of people, all different types of rich people. But yet... Whew. But supposedly she was French Montana, and then there's this video, I guess T.S. Madison got this video in her DMs of French Montana sex tape. Um... Everybody wants to see it, but I'm kind of over it. Next case. Next on the docket was Nelly, and he was charged with fucking a groupie, Raw. 
and um, he didn't get no charges on the case, but there is a civil case um, coming up soon, and um, that girl about to get paid. Because if it's true, I heard they got evidence and all types of shit, according to TMZ. So, next case. So, next on the docket was Jay-Z and Beyonce. Honey Child, when they said Jay-Z and Beyonce, I was like, Kaya and T.S. Madison, you do not know what you are doing. Because if you say the wrong thing... The beehive will go nutty. And that's what they did. Even though Kaya and T.S. Madison, they pretty much were not really going in on Beyonce and Jay-Z like that. They were kind of, you know, stating their opinions. The beehive did not give two fucks. They were sending all types of um, mad emojis. Bitches was on comments saying all types of shit. Like, they was not here for them bringing up Beyonce and Jay-Z. But, um, they were charged with misleading the fans. Um, people think, well, they think that it's the narrative of the cheating, um, the Jay-Z cheating scandal, all that, um, stuff that needs to be done and over with. And I guess the, um, Catholics and the Christian churches were mad because of the video, that Jay-Z just put out, A Family Feud, um, my thoughts, quickly, um, do I think that they could have used a different narrative to, you know, showcase the video? I do, but I also think that artists have the freedom to express their art in any way they feel like it, um... And I'm just going to leave it at that because I don't want to go too deep into it and do all that. Um, the next person on the docket was Genuine, the right place, wrong time he was charged with. Um, we all know about the whole um, transgender um, issue he was going, he was dealing with, with um, I guess the transgender woman was trying to kiss him and he was not with the shit. And... Um, Kai and T.S. Madison, and I definitely agree. I mean, if you don't want somebody invading your space, you don't want nobody invading your space. I don't care who you are, what you are. It does not matter. If nobody, if he doesn't want you in your, his space, he doesn't want you in his space, that doesn't mean he's transphobic, that doesn't mean he's homophobic. People just love dragging those words out crazy. And, um, I'm with Kai and T.S. Madison. Definitely, definitely should have... He did the right thing in the situation. Next on the docket was Kim Zolciak of um, Real Wives of Real Housewives of Atlanta, excuse me. And um, I have not watched the latest episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Um, apparently, Kim was dragging Nene and Candy and all of them. I seen the post on Facebook. Excuse me, on Twitter with Candy and Kim going back and forth. That Kim, I guess, said that um, Candy wanted to have sex with her. And Candy's like, nah, never that. Um, stop slandering my name, this, that, and the other. And then Kim came back with talking about how they're swingers and all that stuff. My, th my, uh, my thing on this is that... Um, Some things should just be left private. Like, we do not need to know who's sleeping with who, who wants to sleep with who. That's none of our business. We do not care. We are just watching you guys' lives an hour a day, an hour every week. We don't care about your personal lives to to the point where it where you guys are talking about sex and who you guys are sleeping with and who this, that, and the other. We don't care. And that pretty much was it with the whole um, docket. You know, they had a couple success stories. Toya Wright, found, we found her baby daddy. We know who her baby daddy is. And Kai was talking about his long rap sheet. And then Mimi Faust from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. She found a new bae. Another female, I guess. Um, she's, a, she's in the WNBA. Um... 